Hi, I'm Brian Prior, tutoring high school biology. Today's topic, amphibians. Yes, another evolutionary step up from fishes. Animals need to move to land as well. Amphibians have two major phases in their life, as larvae and as adults. Let's look at that right now. As larvae, most amphibians are water-dwelling. They're then filter feeders or herbivorous. Now, filter feeding, water passes through them and they'll take the microorganisms on the inside. Herbivores, they'll be feeding on green algae or other underwater plants. Some of them will perform respiration through the skin, though more often through the gills, but oxygen and other gases can diffuse through some larva skin, interestingly enough. Alright, moving on to adulthood. These are mostly land dwellers. Amusingly enough, they suddenly become carnivorous. Think frogs, they eat flies all the time. That's adulthood. They'll also start using their lungs, which brings us to the circulatory system, which, in which the lungs play a major part. There have been some major changes to the circulatory system. First off, it's closed. And again, that means blood always stays in the circulatory system. Materials will diffuse in and out, but blood stays in the system. But it's two loop now. And also, the heart has become three chambered. Let's look at it over here. All right, the heart has a right atrium, a left atrium, and a ventricle. How does this all work? Well, the right atrium is where oxygen poor blood comes in. It'll come in and then enter the ventricle. The ventricle has become kind of this common ground. And oxygen rich blood will come in through the left atrium. All right, let's follow along a cycle. Oxygen-rich blood will go through the body, and the oxygen is depleted. It then returns to the heart and comes in the right atrium. The heart will then pump it out, and you see it'll enter a second loop, hence the double loop, and go through the lungs, picking up oxygen and becoming oxygen-rich. It then comes in through the left atrium, where the heart pumps it right back through the body. Oxygen is depleted, comes back in, through the lungs again and again. This is the double loop system. One loop will have the lungs in it, and the other loop will have the body in it, so that oxygen will be added and taken away, respectively. Alright, that's it for the circulatory system. As for reproduction, amphibians generally fertilize eggs externally. There are a few exceptions. Most of these are salamanders, but that's pretty much all you need to know. Alright, to recap, there are two major phases in the amphibian life, as a larva and as an adult. Larvae are generally water-dwelling, filter feeders are herbivores, and they respire through either the gills or the skin. Adults are generally land-dwelling, carnivorous, and they use their lungs to breathe. Amphibians have developed a three-chambered heart, as well as a double-loop closed circulatory system. Closed meaning that blood does not leave the circulatory system. Here, with the double loop, one loop will go through the lungs, picking up oxygen, and the other will go through the body, depleting oxygen. In the three-chambered heart, oxygen-poor blood will enter through the right atrium, coming from the body, and fall into the ventricle, after which it is pumped through the lungs. Then it will return to the heart as oxygen-rich blood through the left atrium, and then go out again through the right atrium to use up that oxygen. For reproduction, most amphibians fertilize their eggs externally. There are few exceptions, mostly salamanders. That's pretty much it. All right, that's all for now. Again, I'm Brian Creer. See you next time.